What's up, Homestead Homies? It's Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. And I'm Stacy. And today we're going to take you guys uh, kind of like a step by step um, slideshow. We're going to talk about it, everything we did um, to save um, our cat that we talked about in a previous video. We showed you a picture um, of what he looked like when he came home. We're going to share those pictures again and we're going to share pictures of the progression of his healing. And we're going to tell you guys what we did and how we did it. Here we go. All right, so you want to tell the story? Okay, so we, um, or I had gone up to the barn, and uh, all of a sudden I hear, you know, a real pitiful mew, mew, and I look at the barn, and I, I see my favorite cat, Brutus, you know, and uh, I go and look at him, and he could hardly walk. I mean, you could smell the rotting flesh. You no, know, when I wasn't even very close to him, and his whole neck had just been ripped out, and we just figured it was a coyote. Keep watching right here for the pictures. Yeah, a coyote or a dog, I don't know what it was. So I look at him, and I ran back, and I told Doug what happened, and I'm like, you know, there's no way he would ever make it at all. I mean, we just thought, well, whatever. What could you see? Yeah, I could see his esophagus. You could see into it where his clavicle. I mean, you could just see. Everything. I mean, it was just really It was bad. like uh it was like 3D things where you like cut away a piece of something so you can see like the inside of the body. And the pictures that you're going to see, probably they're not even going to do it justice. Right, we tried really, to It was take hard pictures. to do, right. yeah. So um, I was just going like, oh my gosh, but I'm, you know, I'm going to try whatever I can try, anything. So I'm thinking there was just so much flesh and just so much there. What I, it would literally like go inside of him and I didn't want to use, I, I, so I was like, what do I do, what do I do? So. I went ahead, I know how healing Kalenda lives and Yarrow and healing and regrowing things and so I went ahead and made a tea of some Yarrow and Kalindala and then I put it, I let it cool and then I first, when I first got him, I just doused it with it. I mean, right. if it went inside of him or whatever, I just poured it all over to clean it off because there was just so much junk and it was just bad. So I just would clean the whole thing out and then I waited till the next morning and uh, the smell was hardly there. It was much better. And then I put it in a squirt bottle like that. And then what we started doing the first couple days, we started just spraying it. Well, and he was kind of getting around and he was eating. I mean, he never, he was eating and yeah. everything. So I just kept spraying it and spraying it and he was doing okay. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll try the Manuka honey okay, after a couple days. So then we put the manuka honey on no, it. No, for then we did the wet pack. Well, I put the, yeah we put the manuka honey on like a gauze, and I got it really really filled with manuka honey, and I put the gauze on it. And we tried to wrap his neck, but the problem was is it was um, in a bad spot because he turned his head a lot, and we and it, and it was all ripped around, so we didn't know how we would keep it on. So you can see, so you can see by these pictures. Um, we tried to wrap it with gauze and all this kind of stuff, and it worked for a little bit we just did to that get for the maybe initial two days. healing going, right? Yeah, but it was just it was too much. You couldn't keep it on there because I know, like you know, if you have like a horse with a gash, or if you have an animal that has it, you know, you can wrap your arms and your legs pretty good. But it was just in a really bad area for him. So we aborted that, and it started to look a little bit better. Yeah. So we just would put the manuka honey on it. Generally, you put the manuka honey on it for like 24 hours, and then you would then switch it again. So we just started putting the Manuka honey on in the morning and then we Every were, morning. We did it for the first few days like morning and night. Yeah. And then we went just to once a day. It just started getting better and better and better and better. And then we would spray it with the calendula and as it went on, sometimes he would scratch it, but we weren't even covering it. But I just made sure to keep it clean. We would spray it with this and then now this has been going on over five weeks, five and a half weeks. Yeah. And um we haven't been doing the calendula spray anymore, the calendula and yarrow spray, but uh, we've just been doing the manuka honey. And I mean, you can see the hole is very little. And I mean, it literally, even I can't even believe how, how it kind of regenerated and his hair is even growing back. Yeah, I mean, even if, like we said in the other video, when we talked about the manuka honey, that everyone should have it in their um, preps in our homestead pantry. We understand fully that regular raw honey has healing and beneficial enzymes to, to do stuff. The Manuka honey is next level. How'd you say it? I said it's like the Ritz Carlton compared to Motel Six. Right. It's the, <laughs> when it, it comes to that, it's five, yeah. four or five times more enzymes, and it doesn't get affected by heat 
or by light, which regular honey does get affected by heat and by regular and by light. So we understand fully that. So if you have other issues um, that you can use regular honey for, Manuka honey is for the serious just, wound. This is just something that we tried on our animal, you know, yeah. and, I'm, and it's something We're that... We're sharing it with you guys because yeah. a lot of times, like, you hear this stuff, like, if we would have just told you the story and been like, oh, this is great, but we're, we're actually documenting it, and now we're showing you guys this footage to give you an idea of just how serious, I mean, this stuff is for real, and we're, we're proof positive, and we don't have an Amazon link. We're not selling you guys this stuff. We're just saying... Get some for your preps. It can come in handy. Or, of course, you can use regular honey. But, again, this stuff is better than regular honey. Yeah, I would. So we're going to actually, here, why don't you go get the cat, and then we're going to show them uh, how it looks the, the live cat. camera right now. My little, my little hero. Yeah, he made it. I'll go get him. Okay, guys, like we were just talking about, I'm going to show you a live picture. This is Brutus right now. I want you to look at him. Can you see that? I mean, this whole thing was totally ripped up. I don't, I mean, I have no idea how it even healed. But from using my calendula and the yarrow, you know, cleaning it with that, um, and then putting on the packs of the Manuka honey on it, I mean, he's totally, I mean, I know this is gonna heal. I don't see inside of his body anymore. I mean, he's, look at him. This is Brutus, his debut. I mean, he's totally healed. I cannot even believe it. This is really a miracle. So as you guys can see by that video, I mean, he has, what is that, about a nickel size? Maybe a little. It's bigger than a little that. quarter. But, yeah, but I'm not even worried. Nickel or quarter. Yeah. Right. Nickel or quarter. Maybe Probably like quarter. Piece. <laughs> Probably quarter. Quarter, quarter uh, size hole. Uh, but you can see, or uh, hopefully you can see, that was all torn away. Now his skin is rejuvenated. It's pull, It's made new skin and, and actually been closing it down. His hair is growing back. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It is. It's crazy. So we're just sharing this with you guys because we're doing it firsthand and we're trying to bring this to you guys so you guys know what's up. You know, that's all. Oh, and then the other thing is, I know a lot of people were saying manuka honey for was I think it was like seventeen ounces, wasn't seventeen ounces or so. You know, it might be like twenty five dollars. I barely even used, I mean, we the container, you just need a little bit with a Q-tip, yeah. and it lasts you a long time if you want to use it, you know, on your, or if you have any skin problems, yeah. so. I mean, we, we were barely using it, you just lift it out of there with the Q-tip, you put it on, then you reverse the Q-tip, do not put the contaminated into the Q-tip back into the Manuka, or uh, maybe get a spoon out and just work off of that spoon. But we, we barely used, if you get a spoon out, you might get too much. We, we're focusing in on the edges of the... Yeah, that's how we did it at the beginning. We focused it on the edges of the wound first to have to kind of go in. And then with his body heat, it would kind of melt in there. Right. And, go ahead. No, that's it. Because I just we didn't want to touch it at the, in the beginning because it was yeah. just... It was, it was real meaty and fleshy, yeah. but it, it's kind of scabby now, getting scabbed over. And you guys saw it is a little meaty and fleshy still, but that little bit of wound... I mean, remember, it was all the way up from under his chin, all the way down to his shoulder, and now that's all healed except for that one little spot, and that's kind of a tough spot because he's turning his head. Yeah, no, walking. I mean, it looks great. It's high movement, and another thing that I mean, I'm totally, I'm sure, helped with the um, aiding of his recovery is that he it oh, happened in winter thing. time. And here's the other thing: to help heal, you need to have a lot of protein. So he got special treatment. I gave him sardines so he can get a lot of his omega-3s. I gave him Chicken. a lot of sardines. I gave him raw meat, hamburger, um, and it really helped. I made sure, so I changed his diet. I gave him a lot of protein for healing because you need protein to help with your healing. Right, so we, bo we boosted up his food intake big time, made sure that he didn't have to go out and hunt anything. We were giving him all that raw food, and now we've created a monster. He's going to be standing at the front door all the time thinking he's just going to come in for his morning <laughs> snacks. But, uh, you know, that's the thing. So you guys can see that firsthand. You know, we're just sharing with you guys what we learned here on the homestead. We're, we have Manuka honey, two different grades of it that we keep here uh, for animals and for ourselves on standby. Uh, because we, I mean, we've seen it work, so we know. And again, but this was, you know, minor things I used, but this was this. This, this was, was major. Huge. This yeah. was the big. Test. I'm a total believer now after this. Right, and yeah. with the yarrow and all the other stuff. I never had an injury this big that I would, you know. 
that we even thought would work. We thought we'd lose him for sure, but we were going to comfort him and treat him well until that time. But he pulled through, and we've been babying him, and we, we I mean, he's back. I mean, he's he's going to get better. Brutus is back. Yeah. yeah. So one thing we are going to say for sure is that because it was winter time and cold, um, it was a lot easier to do because of you know bugs, obviously well, flies. flies. People yeah. were saying, well, if you put it on with flies, if you put it on, then all you would do is put gauze on top of it and try to close it up. That's, you know, you wouldn't leave a, a flesh wound open like that in the heat of summer with bugs and flies right. and everything going around. So um, you have to work with your environment. That's a big thing on um, uh, uh, first aid, you know, even on a person, work with your environment. So hopefully you guys, you guys found this informative. We don't have any links for you guys to buy Mud Nuka Honey Spell It. M-A-N-U-K-A. -A. Just Google Pants it and find your own. Try to find the best deal you can. And Try wetter, to stay wetter between... Spoon, wetter Spoon is a good brand. Wetter Spoon is a good brand. Try to stay between the 10 to 15 range. They rank them. So you're looking for a, a what kind of factor? Well, it's that, it, they call, it's a manu, it could be the a manuka factor. factor. It could be, yeah, they call them K factor. There's different yeah, ones. But from 10 to 14. 10, look for those numbers. Yeah, and then you can go above that, and that'll be a little just a little more cold. expensive. Right. You know, we're not selling nothing, guys. We're just trying to tell you guys so you can get it in on your preps. Do your homework. Look for it on Google yourself. Uh, and hopefully... Yeah, here's one more thing. I know a lot of you guys on Homestead uses that Vetresin stuff, yeah. which is really good because it's water-soluble. That stuff's really pricey. And you're going to go through that a lot quicker than you're going to do the Manuka honey. Right. And, and the Manuka you... honey is internal, too. So as we're treating his wounds, he's licking this. His wound's healing, and he's taking he's in an antibiotic. antibiotic. Yeah. I mean, it's double dose, yeah. man. So it's, I'm just telling you guys, we're, we're, we're just trying to share the information with you. Don't forget, uh, we're running that Homestead Homie of the Month thing. So every month, we're going to be picking a winner. Uh, we talked about it in the last couple videos. We're not going to keep beating a dead horse. But we're always going to try to tell you guys at the end of a video to make sure you're trying to be the Homestead Homie of the Month. Maybe we should start a club and then invite all the Homestead Homies of the Month over for a big shit day. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. You can see our uh, wall of um, okay. essays is growing. We're going to read some more in the next couple videos. And I think that's it, is it? I think so. That's it. So this is Off Beer with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. I'm Stacy. We'll see you guys on the next one. Guys. Oh, and don't forget, do what you can with what you have. Where you are. <laughs> see ya.